Okay, welcome to the lab video for lab 10, the identification of an aldehyde or a ketone. In this lab, you will be doing four tests, a solubility test, an iodoform test, a Jones test, which you've already completed last lab, so you will not be shown this time, and you will be making a DNP derivative as well. For the solubility test, you will just be adding a few drops of DI water and note down whether it is soluble, partially soluble, or insoluble in the water. In a small Erlenmeyer flask or test tube, place about 10 drops of your unknown and 1 ml of water. So to get a positive, if you get a positive test for the iodoform, then after you add your iodine solution and base, if your unknown fails to dissolve, like as shown here. Then you're going to add one drop of 1,4-dioxane at a time and swirl until your unknown dissolves. It's important to go slowly and mix well to avoid using too much dioxane. If you need more than a few drops of dioxane, dioxane it's best to start over and dissolve your unknown in a minimum of amount of dioxane and then add aqueous base as Then you're going to dropwise add iodine and iodide, iodide solution until a deep red brown color persists. the uh, deep brown, red brown color persists, you're going to heat the resulting mixture in your water bath at about 50 degrees. And if necessary, you can dropwise add additional iodine iodide solution to get the red brown color to persist for at least two minutes. If the red-brown color disappears, you can add more of the iodine solution drop-wise.
after your mixture is in a water bath and you remove it and cool it to room temperature, if you do not get a precipitate, then it is a negative iodoform test. how to perform the DNP test. You're going to place about 30 drops of your unknown into a 50 ml Erlenmeyer flask. Then you dissolve it in about in a minimum amount of 95% ethanol, about 2 to 5 ml. Swirl to mix. Then you add 5 ml of your 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine reagent. And you swirl to mix it as well. Then you let stand for about 5 minutes for crystals to form. After two to five minutes, if your crystals haven't formed, you can heat them in a hot water bath for about two minutes, um, and then let it cool to room temperature to get your crystals. Once you get your crystals, you're going to collect them by vacuum filtration, and you're going to use cold water to rinse your crystals. You want to wash your crystals two to three times with water. you've collected the crystals by vacuum filtration, you're then going to recrystallize them with a minimum amount of hot 95% ethanol. And then take the melting point of your recrystallized product. All your data and at the end see if you can identify your unknown and draw its structure.